So guys, we're going to be doing something a little different today. We're going to be cleaning out a Breckwell pellet stove. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, the air intake valve and the exhaust. And then we got the hopper here. And when you lift up this door to fill it, you'll see that there's going to be a maintenance guide. That's going to tell you what you're supposed to clean and what you're not. But, as you can see, when I opened it up, all the soot fell down and it was in bad need of cleaning. So, as you can see, look at that. It's supposed to be, there's a lot down there. So, this is going to need to be cleaned. So, oh, there goes my light. Okay. So, got my little shot back. Does not too bad. I mean, filter gets clogged up here and there, but that's not too but not to worry so let's get cleaning I mean there's really no way to no right and wrong way to clean this out so I mean you just kinda you know get all the soot out and then start I'll show you alright let's get to it Okay, so now that we got most of the soot out, we can start taking these uh, fire-resistant decorative bricks in the back out. <coughs> As you can see, there's supposed to be one big piece in the back, but it kind of halved itself over the years. And then, the next thing that can be removed is the burn pot. So we'll take that out. And as you can see, it gets all mushed and pushed together in the back of that. So that's why it's always good to take that out. So let's get vacuuming some more. Now let's do, uh, now we're going to do the burn pot. Burn pot comes out in t two pieces. Let's see if I can't get it out. There we go. And a bunch of like, sort of rocks form at the bottom here. So we're going to get those out. Now we're going to move on to proceed and see these little doors in the back here. There's four of them, or one, two, three, four, yeah, four. There's one on this wall, one on this wall, two on this wall, I mean, and one on this wall. So let's see if there's any sediment or uh, ash or uh, soot, whatever you would like to call it. Got my little trusty, rusty Stanley screwdriver. Oh, God, I really need a seat. I'm 
I'm just going to remove one to see how much sediment or uh, ash collect back there. And if there's not much, then I'm not going to bother removing the rest of them. This is usually my tester door. Alright, so as you can see, there's very, very little, if you can even... I mean, I can't even really see much, but, uh, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's set that light up here again. There we go. All right, so that's, that's what I'm not going to worry too much about. All right, so now there's the heat tubes, heat exchange tubes, or... Yeah, heat exchange tubes. So we're going to pull this little bar that's at the top here. And you're going to watch a bunch of s soot fall down. See? Give that a couple of shakes. <laughs> Alrighty, so now let's get that cleaned up. Probably always a good idea to do that before you vacuum it all out. It's usually easier, but I didn't think of that. Next thing we're going to remove is called the burn pot. This is where most of the ash goes until it fills up and can't fit anymore. See? That is very full. Not good. So, glad we took that out. And you could even see that there's some that even collected down here. Well, that's just from, you know, dragging it back. And that ended up in there. But that's always good to uh, clean out. So, at least we got that out. I can go dump that outside. That's good for the gardens. So, always remember that, guys. Don't suck it up with the vacuum. It could catch your vacuum on fire. Or it could... Um, if it's still hot, it could cut it, catch it. Uh, it's it's good for the garden too. That that's good for the garden. So go put it in your garden. And uh, the next thing would be to do is to clean this pipe out. This metal pipe, the exhaust pipe. It's already cold. Um, there's this little sediment or ash collector tray in the bottom. So if you take that out, you know most of this ash from the pipe will collect into this sediment tray back down here but I've already done that in the last cleaning so I mean that's only really I think it's monthly you do that and I clean out the big base of it weekly so it's already gotten done for this month so maybe in another video that'll be done but um, so I got the bulk of it done already now it's just wipe the window down with a little paper towel or a, or a rag there is a cleaner that you can buy for these windows but I'm too cheap, and I guess there's a special vacuum, too, but I use a shop vac. Who the hell cares? I'm in my own house, so who cares? Well, customer's house, but anyways, um, so that's that. I'm going to go dump that in their garden, and uh, get the rest of this cleaned up for them. Alrighty, guys, well, that's my, uh, that's my, uh, it's a Breckwell pellet stove, I believe, yep. So that's my, uh, informational, or how to clean out a Breckwell pellet stove. Alrighty guys, more videos to come and this is my 50th vi 50th video. So, celebration. Fif 50 videos. It's been a long time. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I'm going to get there someday. Someday I'll have thousands. Alrighty guys, well, thanks for watching and keep up the keep up rating and commenting and subscribing. Thanks so much guys.